Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? Hope you had a fantastic weekend. This is the girl Dr. Sexy and I just want to talk to you a little bit about keeping the effort in your relationship. Now, you just met this person, you know, every time they look at you, get all googly eyed and excited and you feel that it flutter in your stomach. Every time you spend together, feel so electrifying and magnetic and you have great times together and you can't wait to talk on the phone and you can't wait to see them. And every time you see them, you just do that little giddy smile on your face and sometimes somebody said a name, you smile again and oh my God, it's so great. And this lasts for a while and then you become, oh Lord, I can't stand to see them. And oh, I don't stop calling my phone and all of these kind of things. And we call that little period the honeymoon period. We call the period of the excitement and the newness and the lovely and the juicy and the, woo, honeymoon period. Now, I'm not of the belief that the honeymoon period needs to end. And the reason for that is what makes the difference between a honeymoon period and the rest of the relationship is the effort. When you just met the person, you're trying to impress them. You find the time for them. You know, if you plan to go to the movies and you have 10,000 other things to do, you move them around so you can go to the movies. If you make plans to do something with them, you try to make it extra special. You send them a little note. You might send flowers. You might give them the extra call. Now, when you get used to them and you have them, Lord, you can't bother because they go see them anyway. And Lord, you know, they must go wait. And when you're done this, you will call them. And when you, you just, and you put them further and further and further behind and put them lower and lower on your list of priorities and then you realize that they're no longer so excited to see you and a lot of the things that you used to do you don't do it anymore and we blame all of that on the honeymoon period and I'm saying again it's called effort and I'm saying to you as long as you maintain the effort in your relationship the honeymoon period will feel like it has extended. And I'm talking about simple things, people. You don't have to jump over the moon and spend a lot of money and inconvenience your life and all of these kind of things, but a simple thank you for choosing me or a simple, babes, how you doing? No, I'm in a real one. I'm just wanna know how you doing. What's up? How was your day? And I don't mean to ask how was your day so you can wait for them to say how their day was so you can talk about your day. I mean, really talk and listen to each other. Or do something special on a regular day. For no reason whatsoever, buy them their favorite meal and send it to them for lunch. For no reason whatsoever, send them a card. Yeah, they still sell postcards in pharmacies and these things. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wait until it's their birthday to send them a card. Do something special on a regular day. We take each other for granted too much and it needs to stop. The only way our relationship will continue to grow and be beneficial and be healthy is if we work at it. Put it this way. When you buy a new car, it's nice and good and drive nice. And when you drive and drive and drive and drive and you run out of gas, what you do? You buy gas. When it's time for the car to be serviced, what you do? You service it. If the tire go flat, what you do? You fix the tire or I buy a new tire. But the fact is, we treat our cars better than we treat our relationships. And as long as you don't put the effort in, you're going to get the result that you get. So I'm encouraging you today to just do something special for the one you love just because you can. So, yes, you, you know yourself. You who, not, the last time is their birthday, not even did you remember. Mm -hmm. And your excuse was, oh, it's just a regular day. Yes, it is a regular day. But if you do more things on regular days, missing a birthday won't be such a big argument. I have friends who, they give gifts on Valentine's Day to avoid arguments. That shouldn't be your goal. Your goal shouldn't be, you're going to do something because you don't want the war and the fuss. She shouldn't have to war and fuss or he shouldn't have to war and fuss for you to remember that they mean something to you. Keep the effort in your relationship. Remember, you can always follow me on social media, Dr. Sexy, right across the board. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Dr. Sexy Anne. Oops, sorry. Dr. Sexy Anne. And definitely send me your emails, drsexylive at gmail.com. Until next time, people, keep the effort in your relationships. Later, guys.